So welcome back to the Sawmill, friends. Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Established Titles. And right now they're having a huge holiday sale going on. And if you use my code out of the woods at checkout, you get an additional 10% off. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lards or lords and ladies in English. They also plant a tree with every order and work with global charities like the One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global reforestation efforts. This title pack also makes a great last minute gift because it gives you the title of a lord or a lady that you can use on your airplane tickets, your credit cards, or even your dating profiles. Right now, the first 200 people purchasing the title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot or within walking distance. So for those of you that act right now, we can build our own little out of the woods kingdom in Scotland. Now with this title pack, you get at least one square foot of land at a private estate in Scotland and a signed plot number and also a certificate as well. So once again, there's a link down below in the video description. There's also a link in the top comment if you can't see that. Be sure to use my code out of the woods at checkout to save an additional 10%. So let's get to the video, friends. And once again, thank you to Established Titles. So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. Today's Thanksgiving. I got a lot on my plate today, but other than ham and turkey, the first thing I got to deal with is this slab pile. It's time to burn it up, guys. And for you bowl turners out there, people that say that I waste lots of good wood, you may want to close your eyes. All right, guys, most of the slabs have burned down. Right now we're working on these old logs. Most of this is pine that had a ring shake in it. One of them had a really bad uh, spot in the middle. I couldn't really do much with it. I do have some maple in there also that I let lay on the ground a little too long, get rotted away as well. That happens at a sawmill. So we're gonna go do some other stuff and keep an eye on this. I may add some more stuff to it later. Now we're gonna head on down to the kiln and start loading it up with some of that pine we've been sawing for the past week. I need to make some more shiplap. And here any minute now, dinner will be ready. You guys hang in there. Hope everybody's having a good Thanksgiving. All right, I went ahead and opened up the kiln, got everything ready to go. It's nice and empty, that's nice. Got my first layer of stickers right there on the bottom. If you're drying your wood, friends, make sure you space out your stickers every 16 inches. That's the best way, I believe, of getting good flat lumber. This behemoth of a kiln you're looking at is the L200 Pro Kiln Chamber. I love this kiln, friends. It does a really good job. This kiln will dry about 2,000 board feet of pine if it's green. If it's air dried, you can do 4,000. And if you put something like red oak in here, you can do 4,000 feet at a time. It really depends on if you're doing it green or doing it air dried. I air dry almost everything here it's set for pine and cedar and it goes straight into the kiln. All right, friends, it looks like Thanksgiving dinner's on the table. Let's go eat some good food and come back down here and stack up some more pine. I got this done, but there's another stack on the 754. No, I'm sorry, the 574. So after dinner, we'll get the tractor and bring it down here and do some more stacking.
All right, guys, we're in the 754 now. Let's see if we can grab this pine log and take it up to the mill. It's an eight footer. The diameter looks like it's around maybe 26, 27 inches. That is a mouthful right there for the grapple. There we go. No problem. Looks like I've already got one pine in front of the mill. I forgot about that one. Let's see if we can put this one right in front of it. There we go. Got about 300 board feet in the kiln. I'd like to have at least a thousand before we cut it on. This is another white pine, but I think it's a 10 footer. Can't remember to be honest with you. Yeah, 10 feet. So what I'll probably do is once I cut this down to size, I'll get the chainsaw and take off two feet. And the reason being, you don't want to put longer stuff halfway up in your rows in the kiln because that wood's unsupported. It would just warp on the ends and you have to cut it off later. It's not a good idea. You always want your lumber to be the same length or close to it within a few inches. 24 inches is way too much. On the sawmill, we've got a Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. I've had that blade on there for a couple of days. So after this log is finished, before we start on that big guy, I'll probably do a blade change. And if you're interested in those blades, give Joe a call. His cell phone number is down in the video description. People still ask me where I get my blades from after all these videos. They still ask me. All right, guys, let's open this one up and see how it looks. I don't see any large knots or any major defects or nothing like that. Should be a pretty good log. We're sawing this so inch and eighth on the thickness and six inch wide boards. What are we looking at down here? About 15 inches. So we'll probably have two six inch camps and maybe a few jacket boards as well. Not a bad log. That big one over there we just brought up, it is bigger than I thought it was. That is a good sized pine right there. It's got some large knots on it, but that is a big log. There will be a lot of lumber in that one. You guys hang in there.